kit I have in front of me here is the CamSat AV 5.8 GHz wireless sender and receiver units along with the installation kit that we use with it. Okay? So let's just look at the various component parts of it. So what we have here is, we have the, from the CamSat unit itself, we have a transmitter unit, but we also accompanying it have this 5 amp 12 volt power unit, the power of, and on the receiver side we have um, this unit here, but we also have this 12 volt uh, 5 amp receiver unit here again, right? We have the bracketry and bolts etc that we use for bolting this onto the units onto uh, poles that will be facing each other. And then we get into, we'll say, the connectors and also uh, the cable and then we go with this. So first of all here, in terms of, if we look at the outputs from the power unit itself, uh, it's a 2.1 uh, uh, millimeter DC uh, jack here. And what we have here is just a socket version to go with it. And on the far side, we have where we can attach either a Cat5 or a twin core power cable here. So we can use this uh, basic same setup on both the receiver and the sender end. Uh, we have four B and C connectors here. So there'll be two used on the receiver end, two on the transmitter end. And we'll, we'll cover that and just show a quick example of it installed in a moment. Uh, in terms of B and C connectors, there's three basic type. There's twist on, there's crimp on, and there's also compression. Uh, the reason I've gone for the twist on ones in the kit is purely because it saves you having to buy an actual um, crimping tool or a compression tool. So it just makes it very, very simple. You pair down the cable and you twist it on and it should work with that. Uh, and then we have 40 meters of RG59 and uh, uh, twin uh, uh, power cable here, two core power cable here. So if you just look at it here, we can see that side by side there's two pieces of cable. This piece here and uh, that I have in, in my right hand is for carrying the video and on this side here we have what we are going to use for carrying the actual power. So if we look here, there's two cables, a black and a red here. The red is marked for positive and black uh, for negative, okay? And what we'll, we'll, we can actually see this um, uh, unit that I showed a few moments ago actually attached in this particular situation. So let's look at this actually being installed here. So we have, we'll say, on the, um, on the transmitter end is we have a demonstration here. I'm just going to hold it up here and maybe be able to focus in on it. So on this side here, the B and C connection, this is an actual compression one I use myself here. And uh, this one here is actually just pushed on here. And it's going to take uh, the video input from a camera or a DVR into the transmitter unit. Uh, we can see here that um, we have various things here, like we have a video um, um, ground here and audio left and right. But we're, all we're using here is the actual ground and the 12 volt here for actually providing power here. And this will also be coming from the power unit directly itself. Okay, so that's how it would be set up, we'll say, on the, um, on the transmitter side. And if we look then on the actual um, receiver side, just grab this cable here. So you can see we've actually used our twin cable here, okay, with twin power and the, uh, the RG59 here. So once again, with the B and C connection, this time taking video out and running it off to a monitor or a TV. And in terms of the power here, we have the choices of, of um, audio left and right, which we're not using again. In this case here, we just have the power at the ground and also the power itself, 12 volt and that's just being used in the receiver end. So the reason that we went for 20 meters of cable here is I think that's adequate and um, it's in a single 20 meter length. So if you need 10 meters in one part and uh, on the say on the transmitter end and 30 meters on the um, receiver end, it gives quite a bit of flexibility inside there. So it's a pretty comprehensive kit in terms of this is exactly what you need. And your covering situation for you have a camera or a DVR or we'll say in a shed uh, covering, we'll say, a cabin camera or something like that, and you want to transmit from that shed up to the house without using wires. Well, this is all you really need. Now, we didn't provide brackets or poles in because normally we'll say it's hard to know exactly what the setup will be in terms of poles, but some of the associated products that we listed with this, for example, would be the following, which are just very straightforward, simple brackets here to be mounted onto a wall 
uh, and we can actually uh, add our transmitter or receiver units onto this, put them end to end, pointing towards each other. And um, the overall range of this kit here itself is about two and a half kilometers. And um, the power units we're using with it, as you can see, they're five amp. Um, you could probably get away with lower amperage on it, but what we'd like to do is specify here because it simply can make the difference between it working and not working at the very limit uh, of the outer range of it. So that's it anyway, an overview of the CAMSAT 5.8 gigahertz uh, AV uh, sender and receiver uh, 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 kit.